that extract that we first told you about back in November. Yeah, it's called Kratom, and the FDA has issued warnings about its potency. Now, 10 on your side's Chris Horn has learned that the CDC has linked Kratom to food poisoning. Chris? Yeah, Stephanie, the CDC says Kratom is linked to 28 cases of salmonella across the nation. Kratom is legal in Virginia, North Carolina, and most other states. As we discovered in our previous investigation, people will use Kratom and continue to swear by it, regardless of what federal health officials say. Investigative reporter Chris Horn is. We told you about Kratom in November. It's a natural plant extract that's been around for hundreds of years. People who use it say it provides pain relief, calmness, energy, and an alternative to opioids. But just this week, the CDC says it has linked Kratom to cases of salmonella in 20 states affecting 28 people. That includes two cases in North Carolina. The agency is recommending that people not use Kratom in any form, powder, pills, capsules, leaves, or tea. CDC says no common brands or suppliers have been identified across the 28 cases. You can purchase Kratom legally in smoke shops. In the fall of 2016, the FDA wanted to regulate Kratom as a drug with high potential for abuse. The proposal generated 23,000 public comments, with more than 9 out of every 10 saying leave Kratom alone because it has benefits not found elsewhere. Earlier this month, the FDA said Kratom was essentially an opioid. Dr. Ben Fickenshire of Chesapeake Regional Medical Center is a member of the Hampton Roads Heroin Working Group. He says without regulation, no guarantees of purity, the absence of dangerous fillers, or the product's potency need be made. The recent outbreak of salmonella poisoning that has been linked to Kratom underscores the danger of this product that has opiate properties, is available to our children through online merchants, and is addicting and deadly. But even Fickenshire says Kratom is worthy of more research given the claims many have made about its benefits. We asked the American Kratom Association for comment. It has said previous health warnings were based on bad science. And if we hear back, we'll update the story on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.